This is from LRMDS Bulacan. Thank you and congratulations to the development team of this module. Credit to the author, language reviewer, content editor, illustrator, and layout artist of this module. Hi, Rock Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know This module will help you to learn about scientific notation. Various activities are provided for you to meet the target skills. At the end of this module, you are expected to write numbers in scientific notation and vice versa. Number two, recognize the idea of large and small numbers have important applications in real life situation. What I know. Now turn your module to pages 3 up to 5. Let's answer the pretest. Read and analyze each question or statement. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before each number. What's in? Find the product of the following numbers. We have 270 multiplied by 10. The answer will be 2700. For number 2, we have 27 multiplied by 100. The answer is 2700. Next is 2.7 multiplied by 1000. The answer is 2,700. Now we have 0 0.27 multiplied by 10,000. The answer is 2,700. Now we have 27,000 multiplied by 100,000. The answer is also 2,700. Now let's try other example. Now we have 5.5 .5 multiplied by 10. The answer is 55. Now let's try 5.5 .5 multiplied by 100. The answer is 550. Now we have 5.5 .5 multiplied by 1000. We have 5500. Then we have 5.5 .5 times 10,000. The answer is 55,000. Then lastly, we have 5.5 .5 multiplied by 100,000. The answer will be 550,000. Were you able to recall multiplication with numbers that end in zeros? Remember that the trick for doing so is by counting the zeros. Note that if the number to be multiplied is a decimal number, the decimal point in the answer must be moved according to the number of decimal point of the given number. Were you able to write the answers easily? Why or why not? Did you know that we can write these equations in simpler form? And we can obtain the products much faster than usual. Let us find out how by exploring this module. What's new? Kati, come on. Let's watch Sci-Fi TV. This is my favorite TV program. I learned a lot from it. Wow, I love Sci-TV too. In fact, I bought my pen and notebook with me. I always take down note important details. Great idea. I will also do that. Trivia is on! Let's collect the following details. 
Pluto's average distance from our Sun is approximately 3 billion 700 million miles. The distance from the Sun to the Earth is approximately 1 billion 521 million kilometers. An atom size is about 110 billion meters. Sun is 10 times wider than Jupiter at about 864,000 miles. A recently discovered asteroid showed a potential 2028 close approach 3100,000 from the Earth. After watching. Amazing! I really love lesson about outer space. May I check with your notes if you got the correct information? Sure, let me dictate them for you. 3 billion 700 million, 1 10 billion, 864,000, 753 trillions, 3100,000, 1 billion, 521 million. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have you also encountered difficulty reading the numbers? Did you know that these numbers can be written in simplest form? Let us find out by exploring scientific notation. What is it? Scientific notation. There is an easier or shorter way to write large numbers like 9 billion 500 million and small numbers like 500 millions. This is by expressing the numbers in scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that are too big or too small to be conveniently written in decimal form. In scientific notation, the number is written so that no matter how large or small, it will always have a decimal point in it. It is done to represent a number as something times the power of 10. 70 can be written as 7 times 10. 170 can be written as 1.7 times 100. 5 billion 600 million can be written as 5.6 times 10 raised to 9. 2 10 thousands can be written as 2 times 10 to the negative 5. Scientific notation consists of 3 parts, the coefficient, the base, and the exponent. 2.93 is our coefficient. 10 is our base. 4 is our exponent. The coefficient must be greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. The base must be 10. The coefficient is the number of decimal places to be moved to change the number to standard form. To express number in scientific notation, write it as a product of any number between 1 and 10 and the power of 10. The sign of the exponent will depend on the movement of the decimal places. Here is J-Hope and B to help us in changing number into exponential form. J-Hope, let's change the whole number into exponential form. We have 10 is equal to 10 raised to 1. 100 equal to 10 squared. 1000 is equal to 10 cubed. 10,000 is equal to 10 raised to the fourth power. And 100,000 is equal to 10 raised to the fifth power. Thanks, J Hope. Now, here is V to help us in changing decimal numbers into exponential form. We have 1 tenth is equal to 10 raised to the negative 1. 1 hundredths is equal to 10 to the negative 2. 1 thousandths is equal to 10 to the negative 3. 1 ten thousandths is equal to 10 to the negative 4. And lastly, we have 1 hundred thousandths is equal to 10 to the negative 5. Thanks, J-Hope. 
Thanks, V. Now let's study the following examples. 1.43 times 10 cubed is equal to 1,430. 1 1.43 times 10 squared is equal to 143. 1.43 times 10 to the first power is equal to 14.3. And 1.43 times 10 to the zero power is equal to 1.43. Now let's try these examples. 1.43 times 10 to the negative 1 is equal to 143 thousandths. 1.43 times 10 to the negative 2 is equal to 143 ten thousand. 1.43 times 10 to the negative 3, 143 hundred thousands. Notice that the exponent tells you how many places the decimal point should be moved. If the exponent is positive, we move the decimal point to the right. If the exponent is negative, we move the decimal point to the left. Expressing small number in standard form. Expressing large numbers in standard form. Large numbers in scientific notation are the ones that contain positive exponent. To convert them into standard form, simply move the decimal point to the right by the number of places indicated by the exponent. Let's have example number 1. Write 2.382,000 times 10 to the 6th power in standard form. Now, here is our given. Since the exponent is positive 6, move the decimal point 6 times to the right, then add 0. The decimal point is located here. We need to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times to the right. Then we'll add zeros. Our answer is 2,382,000. Example number 2. Write 3.5800 times 10 to the 4th power in standard form. Here is our given. Since the exponent is positive 4, move the decimal point 4 times to the right, then add zeros. The decimal point is located here. Then move the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, then 4. Then we will add zeros. Our answer is 35,800. Expressing number in scientific notation. To write numbers in scientific notation, move the decimal point to the desired number of places. To the right or to the left so that it will be in the desired range between 1 and 10. Count how many times you move the decimal point and write it as the exponent. If the given number is a large number, the exponent is positive. If the given number is a small number, the exponent is negative. Let's have example number 1. Write 1 million 567,000 in scientific notation. Move the decimal point until it reaches the desired range between 1 and 10. The decimal point is located here. From here, we need to move the decimal point to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 1.567,000. Since we moved the decimal point 6 times, and the given number is a large number, the exponent is positive. Our answer is 1.567 times 10 to the 6th power. Let's have example number 2. Write 79 million in scientific notation. Move the decimal point until it reaches the desired range between 1 and 10. We will start from the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 7.9. Since we moved the decimal point 5 times, and the given number is a small number, the exponent is negative 5. Our answer is 7.9 times 10 to the negative 5. From the previous examples, let us try to express the following standard form to scientific notation. The distance from Sun to the Earth is approximately 1,521,000,000 kilometers. Expressing it in scientific notation, our answer is 
1.521 times 10 to the 9 power. Pluto's average distance from our Sun is approximately 3 billion 700 million miles. Expressing in scientific notation, we have 3.7 times 10 to the 9 power. A recently discovered asteroid showed a potential 2028 close approach, 3100,000 from the Earth. Expressing it into scientific notation, we have 3.1 times 10 to the negative 4. The Sun is 10 times wider than Jupiter at about 864,000 miles. In scientific notation, we have 8.64 times 10 to the 5th power. An atom size is about 110 billion meters, which is considered as the smallest thing in the universe. In scientific notation, we have 1 times 10 raised to the negative 10. The mass of particle of dust is 753 trillion kilogram. Expressing in scientific notation, we have 7.53 times 10 to the negative 10. Remember, scientific notation can help you write numbers to accommodate values which are too large or too small. Are you ready to answer your module? Good luck! What's more? Independent activity number one. Turn your module to page 10. Write the following large numbers in scientific notation. Independent assessment number one. Turn your module to page 10. Write the following small numbers in scientific notation. Independent activity number two. Turn your module to page 10. Match the following scientific notation to its corresponding standard form. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. Independent assessment number 2. Turn your module to page 11. Complete the table by writing the corresponding scientific notation or standard form of each of the following. Independent activity number 3. Turn your module to page 11. True or false? Write true if the equation is correct. If it is incorrect, then change the scientific notation to make it right. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. Independent assessment number 3. Turn your module to page 11. Solve the following problems. What I have learned Turn your module to page 12. Do you agree that scientific notation is the best way to represent every large or very small numbers? Five pieces of evidence to support your answer. What I can do? Turn your module to pages 12 and 13. Answer the hidden code. Assessment Turn your module to pages 13 up to 15 Let's answer the post test Additional activity Turn your module to page 15 Answer the following questions References It's time for you to answer your module. Thanks for watching!